most important things are the planes. We offer you guys eight different badass, super fast airplanes in this game with several unlockable skins to choose from. You're gonna unlock these planes by playing through the campaign. Only a few of those planes are unlocked uh, with multiplayer game. We spend a whole lot of time to tweak these planes to have the final handing, to have the final balance between speed, maneuverability and stuff like that. The core of the gameplay comes from this. These planes are not real life plane models. You might see some part of them familiar, but uh, these are whole new concept built and imagined and dreamed by our concept artists and uh, tweaked in, in several steps to reach its final form. They are just like dragsters and, and, uh, and uh, race cars in the air. So it's not like military stuff. Even you can use power-ups to blow up your opponents. These are not military planes whatsoever. These are racing planes built for speed and for curves. If I have to compare Skydrift with regular track based car racing games, you are on the ground, you are forced to stay on the track and stuff like that. In contrast, in our game, you are not limited by the ground, you are not limited by gravity, you can fight against gravity and your opportunities are just 100 times more than in regular racing games. You have the whole world to play with. Of course there are some restrictions where you cannot fly. We have a so-called race track which is uh, the part of the whole, whole world, whole landscape where you should go and you should find your way your, your, your best spot and, and the ideal optimistic line. Simply, you are not limited by, by, by gravity and by, by boundaries. In Skydrift, every plane plays a bit different. It's really your car which want to pick for each event. There is no silver bullet thing for a track, like you pick this because if you're not, you're gonna fail. There's no such thing in our game. I'm not saying that there are no bad picks for a track. Not all the planes are good for, for a given even. But it really comes down to the player, to you, uh, which one to prefer. Only slight different in handling, in acceleration, speed, boost value, gives you uh, a whole feeling about about different playstyle according to a plane so it's uh, I know it's hard to believe but uh, we still can beat each other's lap record with, with different planes while while uh, knowing that they are totally different planes and they are still on par with each other we really put so much testing and tweaking into these uh, these things because if if it's if it's not good uh, the the game won't last long because the users will find out pick this and you can face roll all the content it's it's not the case in Skyrim in multiplayer you will see different kind of planes picked by the different users and they will each compete for the first place. We have two guys 
in our team graduated as airplane technicians. But the rest of the team were not airplane fanboys, to say so, at the start of the project. We kind of like planes and it's the mechanical things and speed things, the usual stuff. Boys like planes at some degree. But as soon as we get involved in Skydrift and we dig deeper and deeper into airplanes, into flying, uh, it became a really passionate connection between the designers, even the coders, between the individuals on the team and, and, and flying in planes. A kind of strong emotional connection started to show up according to, to airplanes and, uh, and, and, and developers. And we always wanted to see this, this connection to show up uh, on the guys who tested the game. If, if we put a new airplane model into the game and we, we gave it to, to some guys and test it and see if it's, it's good or not, if it's good to play or not. And until they did not show emotions about that plane, even if it's hate or love, we knew it's, it's not ready yet. Because it's not just a metal case with, with wings which flies, it's a being, it's, um, it's a thing which represents you in the game. It must be sexy, it must be strong, it must, it must have emotional connection to you. And until it's not there, we are not arrived and we, we tweet, tweet again and adjusted even the colors, even the shape of the plane. Even changing the name could uh, show some, some changes in, in, the, in the users. It's, it was very interesting to see and we, we really tried to make a strong bond towards these planes you can find in Skydream.